have here? Who is there? Where am I? What have you done to me? You almost did it. You almost out pizza the hut. How have you done it? How have you managed to out pizza the hut? I don't know what you're talking about. What I want to know is how you done it. How done did what? You know exactly what I'm talking about. You really want to know it? I'll tell you then. Mama Russo? Hello? Mama Russo? Hi, honey. I was talking to Gatherer's mother, and according to her, he's already starting his own enterprise. Why do you never do anything like that? I know, I know, I didn't take four years of culinary class for nothing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this, you gotta believe in me. The next challenge I see, I will beat it. No one out pizzas the hut. Challenge accepted. It's been so long since I've used you, my friend. It's time to start cooking again. Who's there? Dear Mr. Russo, Your actions have come to our attention. We do not take threats to our enterprise lightly. You have been summoned to Jordan 777 Avenue at 12 p.m. Let us assure you it will be worth your time. If you value your safety, you'll be there. To put it briefly, no one out pizzas the hut, Mr. Russo. It's time for you to stop trying. May I come in? Mr. Russo. Hello, Mr. Ankila. Have a seat. I am a lawyer working for Pizza Hut. To cut it short, you have to stop what you're doing, son. Why? You don't know what you're involved in, and I'm warning you, as a friend, we gotta get out of this. Are you telling me to quit my challenge? Yes. My clients will stop no. it. I will not quit it! You have to listen to me. There's no other choice. You have to stop what you're doing. Otherwise, my client will come for you. I'm telling you, stop. This is outrageous! You do not get to dictate my life! 
You are a lawyer. Have a good day, Mr. Angela. Yes. He said he wouldn't. You have to do what's right. Thank you. That's it. That's all that happened. Now let me out. You forgot one key detail. One universal truth. No one, no one out pizzas the hut. I can't believe I got arrested. Why? You are under arrest for the breaking of grammar. Anything you say can and will be held against you, ma'am. No, I can't believe this happened to me. Mama, Papa, where are you going? my parents. I didn't do any grammatical error. They didn't do any grammatical error. The only person doing grammatical errors here is you. Excuse me, but they did something wrong and it is my job to arrest people who do things wrong. And what about me? I didn't do anything wrong. The only person who did something wrong here is you. Excuse me, but I didn't make no mistake, Buster. Aha! Uh -huh. Caught you. Double negative. Order, order, order in the court. I find you guilty of grammatical errors in the first degree and framing others in the second degree. And so the grammar police officer was arrested and jailed for life for framing countless people for grammar mistakes. Unfortunately, mom and dad had committed a grammar mistake, so they were not freed. America's number one show returns to NBC with more drama. How is it my fault when you were the one who burned the steak? And more a chef tut. You have all the finesse of a moron. Where's the salmon? 
Will the chefs have what it takes to cook properly, or will they go up Get in smoke? Get out! That was the worst service I've ever seen. Premiering 9-8 Central on NBC. Crap, my UCSB decisions in. Yes, I got him! <laughs> Guys! Congrats, I'm so proud of you. Thanks. I'm so proud of you! Congrats, Thanks, man! Dude. Oh, this would be dope in the dorm. But I also need a. That works. Oh, but moving is mid-August. I won't be home until December. What about Danielle and Harry? We're not gonna get ramen anymore. I'll just think about this in the morning. just texted that they're here. Hey guys, come on in. Hey, what's up? I have a seat somewhere. You want to play Valorant or something? Sure. Uh, guys, the laptops are downstairs if you guys want to go get them. Sure, why not? Sure. Damn, she's going to tan by you and he's going to be at Yale. I'm stuck in Cali without them. Damn. It's only three and a half months before we have to move away. You better make the most of this summer. You guys are getting me to Platt. That was fun, guys. Um, here. I'll leave you guys out the garage. It's kind of late. I don't want my parents to be too mad. Bye, guys. Should I just go with her? I got accepted to a school in New York. We have to stay together somehow. She's my girl. I love her. I'll think of something. Hey. Hey. What's this for? Well, we're gonna be apart for a long time. I've just been really worried. Mm -hmm. We both got into our dream schools and I don't want any of us to lose that, but I don't want to lose you either. You're not going to lose me. We have Discord. We, we can talk all the time. We do. We'll talk every night. Mm -hmm. Well, it's decided then. Before we head off to college, we are going to have the best summer ever. Call up Harry. Oh, he's here. Hey, man. Take a gun. Thank you. I can't even shoot you back. This is stupid. <laughs> Look at that, the best summer ever, dude. 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 <laughs> With so much planned, I know this is gonna be the greatest summer ever. I'll be sure to talk to Danielle as much as I can and FaceTime her when I'm in college. I know that if things are meant to work out, then they will, and I have faith that what the future holds for me will be the best possible outcome. One, two, lives to be lived. We rejoice, the one to set sail.
Are you sure about this? We're not getting anyone good. Yeah, don't worry, Tucker. With your directing and my screenwriting, it'll be perfectly fine. I don't know. We, we, we can't do anything without the talent, and it's certainly not here. I guess. One will come through the door eventually. I hope you're right. We, we can't afford for this to be a flop. Our, our, our last one was just a failure. All right, next. Hello. Uh, I heard there was a, um, a job opportunity. So I uh, decided to take it upon myself to um, to try out. Uh, this is my monologue that I'll be presenting. Um, may, may I begin? Yep, yeah. When I was a young boy, my father took me into the city to see a marching band. He said, son, when you grow up, he thank said... Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, oh, okay. Wow. Well, um... Thank you. We have your information. Um, We'll be in contact soon. Thank you. He's amazing. There's a job opportunity. Alright, that's... That's not the line. What's the line, Cisco? The line is, oh no, it's a bomb. Okay. Oh no, um, it's a bomb. Oh no, it's a bomb. Okay. Oh My no, apologies. it's... You got that? Yeah, I, I got it. Okay, alright. That's that's okay. That's okay. Get it right. Yeah. Please. <clears throat> Action! I forgot my lip balm. Okay, oh, cut. That's, um, line. that's not anywhere close to the line. What? I mean, it look. rhymes, I guess, but... Just look, just look. What does that say? Yeah, you need to... Oh no, it's a bomb. <sighs> Dude! Yeah, it's... Oh bad. no, it's... My bad, my bad. Yeah. It's yeah. not that hard. It's not... We yeah. can We can get there. We can get there, honest, okay? Honestly, blatant disrespect. No, sure. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, All right. Um, one more time. One more time, yeah. Let's do okay. it again. Let's, um, let's get it right, please. Thank okay. you. Action. I am trying to stay calm. No, God, yeah, that kidding. is not. You're kidding. You're kidding. Oh my I'm God! Kidding. Hey, I'm hey, hey, hey! None of that! None of that! None of that! All right, well, that that was not that was not good. Okay, Cisco, you're you're better than this. Okay. No, I'm, I'm not. Yeah. I am not. You're okay, Colin. It's okay. You can come out, Colin. You're safe here. Okay, you're Are safe. You sure? Yes, you, yes, yes. You, okay. You're safe. Okay, let's do it right. Are you ready to do it right? <clears throat> uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. Okay. Let's. Okay. Awesome. I'm okay. I'm. Gr I'm glad to hear that. All right. Let's do it. Okay. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Action. Oh no. There's a bomb! I better go disarm it! Cut! He's a genius. Very true. Alright, so Colin, you're ready for this jump, right? There, there's a jump? Uh, yep. Seems like everyone's on the same way, Blank. Let's go. Alright. Oh. Okay. Uh, we'll Arm. see you on the other side. Yep. Let's go, let's go. Think I'll make it? Uh, I think he'll make it to a different other side. Alright, Colin, you ready? Uh, I think so, yeah. Okay. Um, alright. Well, three... Two, one, action. All right, Colin. Colin, look at me. 
This scene is the single-handedly most important scene in the movie, okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Okay, so I I'm going to need you to kind of take some time here to really get that centered and, and focused and, you know, ready to go, yeah? Yeah. All right, we're... Uh, yeah. Cisco and I, we'll go get ready for the filming and everything. Yeah. Okay. You okay. got it, Colin. Cisco, this... Okay. Where, yeah. where did you get this? This looks weirdly, like, just real. Where did you get this? This... This is real, Dugger. You said get a real bomb. Yeah, <laughs> okay. This is a, That's my bomb. I get what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. It looks really real. Okay. Are you ready, Colin? No, it, it is real. Yeah, I'm ready. All right. Action. Oh my god, 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 Do I start, like, uh, up top or, like, down low? Or, I don't think there's, like, a, a way up to the top. I, I just know, like, there's, like, three bars here with, like, a bunch of, bunch of different colors on them. Uh, I just hit it. I, I think, I think it's the best way. Alright, ready? Alright, here goes nothing.
Hello, I'm Dr. Door, or as I'm more commonly known as, Dr. D. I'm the current world's foremost leading expert on doors. I'm here today to deliver an important message to our viewers around the globe about the mistreatment of doors. You may ask, what makes me, a seemingly ordinary person, the world's foremost expert on doors? A common question I get asked a lot, so let me explain. I've spent countless hours observing doors in their natural habitat. I've eaten with doors. I've spent long hours having intimate conversations with doors. I've even slept with doors. So, let's start with the basics. A door is a hinged or otherwise movable barrier that allows the entry and exit from an enclosure. The created opening in a wall is called a doorway or a portal. A door's essential and primary purpose is to provide security by controlling access to the doorway. All of that, along with my extensive research in the wild, has led me to some dire findings. I'm here to warn each and every single one of the watchers about the mistreatment of doors around the world. I've witnessed doors being slammed. Doors being roughly opened, doors being pounded on, doors being slammed by objects, doors being kicked open, and doors being used as tools, a place to slam people into, hurting not only people, but the door as well. Really, just use a wall instead. It's not like anyone cares about wall rights. Seeing these mistreated doors around the world, I came to rally the people. Seeing these injustices, I came to inspire a new generation of upstanders to fight against the darkness that has befallen the world. So, thank you for listening to my message and let's all rally together to fight these wrongdoings.
That dress looks awful on you. You heard me. That dress looks awful on you. Oh, it's you. Yup, it's me. Anyways, what was I saying? Oh yeah, that dress really makes you look fat. Really? Is it that bad? What if other people think you look bad too? You don't want people staring at you all night, judging you. God, you're pathetic. I guess I'll change. Let's just face it, you're gonna look fat in anything. You might as well just cancel. Thinks you're boring? Of course she thinks you're boring. You hardly ever leave the house. Well, that's thanks to you. No, it's not. This is all you. You're the one no one wants to be around. It's not. I would just pity you. What if none of them even like you? What if they're just pretending to be your friend for some sort of sick joke? They definitely don't like you. Hey, are you awake? Yeah, I'm awake. What was the thing that Chloe said earlier? Oh yeah, you've gotten boring. What a loser. They all probably think you're a loser. You hardly have any friends, and the friends you do have don't even like you. I bet that- Hey, do you remember when you- No! <sighs> Stop! And you tripped over your own feet in the grocery store and everybody saw it. I don't want to talk about this. Okay, well, hopefully that never happens again, but it probably will. He hasn't texted you back yet, has he? I know you've been trying not to think about it. What if he's with other girls right now? He's definitely with other girls right now. After all, you're not that special, Delaney. Wait, what about your friends? They're all probably having the time of their lives right now. Without you, they probably wouldn't be having as much fun if you were there. Because you're boring. You suck all no the fun out of everything. No wonder he didn't text you back. They didn't want you to Just come. Just give it up. And you know it. You're gonna you're be alone loser. forever. No wonder no one likes you. What do you, you even they have to offer? Just pity you. What do you think you're doing? You just took a break. You need to be more productive. Yeah, you're right. Hello? You don't have time to waste. You still have to finish the history essay by tonight. Oh, I forgot about that. Delaney, just give it up. 
We both know that you're not gonna finish that by tomorrow. Just get back in bed. If you don't, you'll fail. You can't fail, you, or else you won't get into college. That's right. Don't listen to her. It's not like you're gonna get into a good college anyways. No, but Delaney, just, you have to finish this assignment. Hey Dee, I'm still running errands. I'll be home in a couple of hours. How long is a couple of hours? Is that two or three? Careful, no one would find you for hours if you fell and hit your head. No one would even care if you fell and hit your head. That was really bad today. You really needed to finish that math assignment. You're already barely passing. What if that one stupid homework point pushes you over the edge? And you need good grades because you don't want to end up taking orders at a diner for the rest of your life. And it's not like you can rely on sports because you're lazy. And it's not like you're special enough to get any other sort of scholarship. Whatever. At least I have my friends. You mean the ones who didn't want to hang out with you? They're not your friends. They don't even like you. And you're not even pretty enough to hang out with them anyway. You're just a burden Why on can't you just everyone stop around away? you. A you gray cloud sleep, in the sky. But yet Why would anyone so want to be around you? Mom is probably just Maybe avoiding you, you right now. Even she doesn't want to be around you. But no, because you're lazy and I'm not I'm 15 years old now, I've been playing golf for more than half my life, and I absolutely love it. Like most other young golfers, someday I would absolutely yeah. love to play on the PGA Tour. Yeah. And I do whatever it takes to make that dream happen. But... Golf is hard. I mean, it can be really discouraging sometimes. But sometimes it all just comes together. And those are the moments I live for. The thing with golf is that some things are just so exceedingly rare that it feels like you're doing the impossible.
They say golf is a lifelong sport, but I've always wondered where it's going to take me. First off, hopefully college. It takes a lot of work to get there, but I think I might be able to do it. After that, of course, I'd love to go on tour, but I might not be playing much anymore. My life just might get too busy to really get out on the course as much as I'd love to. Eventually, golf will be a great way to get out in nature. Some great exercise. And an amazing way to spend time with family. It'll bring me joy and peace. And really, that's what golf should be all about. School is like six hours on screen and then I'll spend like three hours on my phone. So like nine in total. Eight hours? I think I spend four hours on my phone and then like probably four or five hours on my computer. Uh, I'd say around like 10 hours because it's the whole school day and then my homework afterwards. On average, I probably have like two to three hours of homework every day. At least like two hours every night. About like an hour and a half. I round five hours. Definitely AP Physics gives me the most homework. Probably ASR. A push. Either Latin or math. I definitely been less motivated this year than I was last year. I feel like I'm doing the same thing every day. I mean, it's a lot less interesting and less fun because you can't do like the activities in school. So I guess like things that you would be preparing for because you're excited for it, I guess you're less excited for it. So. Especially in the time between Thanksgiving and holiday break, it was super bad because it's just those two weeks and there's so much work then. It's just a lot harder to pay attention because you're not like in a classroom environment. So it's like you can get distracted quite easily. It is so hard to pay attention and the one week I was on campus, I feel like I learned so much more. I don't feel as prepared for tests. What's been the hardest part about quarantine? I really just miss my friends because I can FaceTime them or like chat with them. Like there's no sleepovers. We don't really do big like birthday parties or anything. I feel like it's not the same. I think I've lost a lot of friends. Like I've lost touch with a lot of people. Um, I think I'm down to like maybe five to 10 people that I could like talk to for a while and like really hang out with. Versus last year, I think I had a wider group. After the first couple of months, then we basically exhausted all the things you're able to do, take walks, go on picnics, all those sorts of things. And especially now that it's cold, you don't want to spend as much time outside. I guess I can go biking, but there's not really cool places to bike. And I play basketball in my yard, but that gets boring after a while. The saddest part is probably just keeping up with the news and everything that's going on. Definitely being a senior and having all the traditions taken away. And I know that people have tried so hard to give them back to us, but it's just not the same as being with everyone. Like, it's not that bad, but then I look back on, like, my memories from freshman year, like, homecoming and semi. I mean, since it's my last year, well, first as a senior, you have kind of the biggest role in a lot of things, like the first day of school, the holiday assembly, the small parts of, like, everyday life, like, just hanging out with your friends for, like, an hour because you feel like it. I think I'm just missing out on just, like, normal sophomore year, you know? Just, like, sophomore life. I feel like that's the year where... I've heard like everything sort of gets solidified because freshman year you're kind of like nervous and you're kind of like scared to make new friends and sophomore year I've heard is just more fun than that. 
I mean, I've had memories over the pandemic, but I feel like they could have been better. It's just been a lot of sitting at home on Zoom, and I don't think I would miss it that much. I mean, I haven't done many very memorable things over the pandemic. There wasn't like too much that happened. I look forward to being able to like see my friends in small groups. Uh, I look forward to sports and breaks. Well, I definitely look forward to second semester because especially as I'm a senior, all my college apps will be done and uh, we'll be doing hybrid. So I'm extremely excited for that. He's so irresponsible with his schoolwork. He doesn't have his priorities right. I really don't understand what's happening to him. He's so irresponsible with his schoolwork. He doesn't have his priorities right. I really don't understand what's happening to him. 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 Yes, I finished it. That's great. But Bill told me we actually need to also incorporate details we have to read into the slide in order to get the full story. It's really important that we get this sales stuff together so that the numbers at the end of Q3 will be all the same for the regional offices. And I know that this is important to you and your Okay. Okay. Just have it done by 9 a.m. and then bring the print when you come in later. Bye!
Christian. Yes, Christian. It's Lisa. Mr. Kleiman wants you in early today. How early? 10 a.m. Hey, Christian, it's Stan. Hello, Stan. So, just wanted to make sure you're still good to stay late tonight. Yeah, I am. Okay, great. Everyone has to put in a little extra sometimes, especially you. I, wait, what? Uh, no, for, forget I said anything. See you then. Oh good! I wasn't sure you were gonna pick up. Everyone has to put in a little extra sometimes, especially you. Mr. Kleiman wants you in early today. So, just wanted to make sure you're still good to stay late tonight. Just have it done by 9 a.m. Everyone has to put in a little extra sometimes, especially you. Mr. Kleiman wants you in early today, 10 a.m. Oh good! I wasn't sure you were going to pick up. So, just wanted to make sure you're still good to stay late tonight. We're in the conference room. Almost here. Just have it done by 9 a.m. Everyone has to put in a little extra sometimes. Especially you. I wasn't sure you were going to pick up. Mr. Kleiman wants you in early today. Don't forget to print the slide. Just wanted to make sure you're still good to stay late tonight. We're in tonight. the conference room. Almost Everyone here. has to put in a little extra Mr. sometimes. Mr. Kleiman wants you in early Especially you. Today. Don't forget to print the slide. We're in the conference room. Almost here. Everyone has to put in a little extra sometimes. Don't forget to print the slide. We're in the conference room. Almost here. Everyone has to put in a little extra sometimes. Don't forget to print the slide. We're in the conference room. Almost here. Everyone has to put in a little extra sometimes. Don't forget to print the slide.